welcome back and good morning hug. So today I have a awesome morning routines, DIYs and hacks for you guys so you guys can see how I go through my mornings and some really great tips along the way. But hold up, if you guys aren't part of the fam yet too already, I encourage you guys to join. Just click the subscribe button and be subscribed to my Reactive Plans channel which is linked down below and you'll be entered into the current MacBook Air giveaway. And let's get this video to 138,000 thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And also I want to let you guys know that this video is partnered with Clinique which is one of my favorite brands so I'm so excited to be working with them again. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go. Waking up to your alarm doesn't have to be a struggle every morning. Did you know that how tired you feel often depends on what part of your sleep cycle you work during? If you get woken up during your deep sleep, you'll feel extremely groggy. So I use a sleep cycle app which monitors what stage of sleep you're in and basically wakes you up at the perfect time so you always feel energized and refreshed and ready to take on the day. For a while I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? Next thing I always do is brush my teeth. I really don't like walking around with morning breath, so I feel so much better brushing my teeth first thing in the morning. A great hack for getting the most out of your toothpaste is to try this simple hack using a clothes peg. Just take apart the peg, flip the halves so the flat sides are facing each other and place them next to each other. Next wrap a rubber band tightly on one side, slide this over your toothpaste tube, then wrap the other rubber band on the other end. Every time you use your toothpaste, just slide the peg down and this completely flattens the tube so you don't waste any of it. I don't need to go over old and useless words. What you said when I Next, it's always super important to drink at least one glass of water as soon as you wake up. You're probably dehydrated after 8 hours of sleep even though you don't realize, so this will help you flush out any toxins and prevent headaches. It also makes you feel more awake as well, so if you feel groggy in the morning, you may be actually dehydrated. And if you can drink two glasses, even better. Also, drinking water helps to jumpstart your metabolism, especially if you add lemons to your water. So I like to make this super delicious infused water by adding some mint leaves and a few slices of lemon. It's super easy to do and refreshing and it tastes so good. It'll also make you feel more full so you don't overeat at breakfast. I'll do my makeup if I'm going out later on and I'll usually just do this simple look that I pretty much do every single day. The first thing I use is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, which is a two-in-one product so it's quick and easy to use and provides a full coverage natural matte finish for 12 hours. A great hack is to apply a slightly lighter color in a triangle under your eye instead of just a semicircle, as well as the spots in between your eyes and around the nose. These places have the most discoloration when you're tired, so these are important areas to conceal to look fresh and awake. Then simply use a damp beauty blender to blend it out and you can completely skip having to use a separate foundation in the morning. This saves so much time and makes the application so much more efficient. Can you see the before and after and how much brighter I look on the side that I've just concealed and I only used a tiny amount of products. The doe foot applicator is perfect for this as it can really get into these small areas controlling the amount you apply but also holds enough product to completely cover your face for a complete application if you'd like. This amazing foundation is $28 to buy but you can also try it first by visiting your local Clinique counter to get shade match and receive a free 10 day supply. And now we're done. This is literally my go to look every single day and I am in love with it. An easy everyday hairstyle is a simple high ponytail. But a cool hack to try if you want your ponytail to be a little bit more perky is just to place a few bobby pins vertically at the base and they'll prop up your ponytail which I think looks much cuter and makes me look more awake. Next, I gotta make my 
myself a coffee and check my social media. Especially seeing what creations my Winji Kwans have made for me. Like, I love your edits, guys. I am obsessed with them. And some of you guys are so creative and talented, so I gotta like and comment as many of your posts as I can. Also, some of you guys have asked how I got my Instagram description to look so neat with line breaks, so here's the trick I'm gonna tell you guys. Just write out your description in the notes app and add your line breaks there. And then all you need to do is copy and paste the entire block back into Instagram and that is it. You can't actually add these line breaks in the Instagram app so this is the greatest hack ever. And if you haven't followed me already, my username is at Miss Wen and I'd love to see you guys there. <laughs> breakfast so I've prepared a simple delicious smoothie for you guys. Add a handful of strawberries, blueberries and raspberries into a blender. Then add one banana, one cup of great yogurt, a handful of oats and one tablespoon of honey. Add a small amount of water and then blend away. Can't stay long. Gotta go, yeah. The smoothie is so healthy, full of antioxidants, and you can also take it on the go. And I am in love with how great this tastes, guys. I can drink this all day. But then there's a matter of cleaning up. But don't worry, I've got a super easy hack for this. Just take your blender and rinse it a few times and then just fill it halfway with water and some dishwashing detergent and let it clean itself. After letting it blend this cleaning solution, it is sparkling clean and this is perfect for lazy people like myself. Now if you're feeling like something more substantial or savory, you can try this simple Greek avocado toast made with sourdough bread. And avocados, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, dill, feta cheese, salt and pepper, and lemon. It's super delicious and healthy. Did you know that the best way to tell if an avocado is ripe is to remove the stem and check the color underneath. If it's green or light colored, the avocado is good. But if it's black or dark brown, it's rotten. So don't eat that one. And to easily cut your cherry tomatoes all at once, just place them on a dish, cover them up with another dish, then take your knife and slice across the middle whilst pressing down on the top dish and you're done. All your tomatoes are cut all at once and I love this super neat hack. And here's a cool hack to get even lemon dressing on whatever you'd like. Just take your lemon, roll it on a hard surface to get the juices flowing and this softens everything inside. Cut the top of the lemon off, take off the lid of a spray bottle and insert it in your lemon and spray away. And that way you get an even amount of lemon juice on your toast. Next, I'll eat my breakfast whilst browsing YouTube. I'll either binge on my favorite channels or check out what's trending. I also love reading the comments you guys leave me on my own videos and they're so cute and I try to read as many as I can. But did you guys know there's a cool hack to turn your YouTube into a Netflix layout? Just type in www.youtube.com slash lean back. The layout will change and you'll be able to browse and watch videos pretty much with only the arrow buttons. It's super convenient when you're eating or wanting to lean back whilst watching. Or if you're just super lazy like me. And lastly, a great way to end the morning is to start planning your day. Just spend 5 minutes writing tasks you want to complete for the day. Try to be realistic and prioritize the most important tasks so you don't get bogged down with pointless things. This helps me stay focused and also keeps me motivated which is super important in this industry because there is no one else telling me what to do. And this is my secret to actually uploading my videos on time and never missing one for you guys. And now I'm done and ready to take on the rest of the day. So did you guys learn something new today? I hope these tips helped you and of course if you guys try them out don't forget to hashtag WenjiCorns on social media and also follow me on my social media such as Instagram, Twitter or Musical.ly or Snapchat so don't forget to follow me there to see what I'm up to during the week and let's have a look at what happened on Reacticorns this week. <laughs> oh look, wait wait wait, this even got the ears on the bum. I didn't even oh, realize. Yeah. For some reason, that tail looked fine for me. New Pokemon. It's not called Pikachu. It's Chukapi. Chukapi. All right, that is it. I'm gonna miss you guys so much until my next video, and until then, bye guys.